Hello everyone. I'm Pranay Jha from Byju's and welcome to this webinar. Today we are in conversation with a tech whiz kid, a social justice warrior and a Byju's young genius, Harmanjot Singh. Harmanjot, welcome uh, to this uh, webinar. And Thank you uh, so congratulations much. on uh, being the Byju's young genius. How does Thank it feel? Thank you so much. Uh, it's actually my pleasure and honor to be on the Baijus Young Genius Show. It was such a remarkable and lifetime, a golden opportunity for me to come to Mumbai for the shooting of the show and then get and the show getting telecasted on all over India channels of Network 18. So it was such a great honor, such a great experience for me to be there in the show. This was the first time that you had gone to Mumbai. So what all celebrity houses did you visit? So the first celebrity house that I uh, got to notice was uh, Ratan Tata's house. So I, uh, one remarkable thing which I would like to mention today that uh, like uh, in the front of his house, the national flag of India was also raised and I felt such pride and honor to be an Indian at that time. And you won the Pradhan Mantri Rashtriya Bal Puraskar as well uh, in 2021. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. The first time we had interacted with the Honorable Prime Minister when I was awarded the Pradhan Mantri Rashtriya Bal Shakti Puraskar 2021 in the category of innovation last year on 25th January uh, during the Republic Day celebrations. So uh, that was the first time when we interacted and we were invited uh, by the ministry to the uh, district magistrate's office with our parents uh, along with other 31 awardees as well for the Bal Puraskar and uh, we were honoured over there. And what was this for? I believe you had created an app uh, that you were honoured for. I got the Bal Shakti Puraskar for innovating the Raksha Women Safety app which is an uh, mobile application that is already available on the Play Store made to ensure the safety of women globally which is a prime concern today and also for my international olympiad academic achievements which uh, which got me the bal puraskar in the category of innovation and when did you start creating apps so i started learning coding first of all joined some introductory coding classes then got to know about some advanced coding concepts and when the corona lockdown came in 2020, uh, I got the idle time because the school was not functioning and I got a lot of time. And then I started learning uh, coding from various advanced tutorials, from YouTube videos, from various documentations available on the internet. So that is how I started developing applications as well. At the age of 12, I, I, I did not know how to work around the Microsoft uh, Word or PowerPoint. How did you learn coding at that age? I had the motivation to do something unique and creative and that is where I started learning coding. Okay, what all programming languages uh, have you learned and want to learn now? I started learning first of all a programming language that is called JavaScript. So first of all that was a beginner's language to learn. Then I start, Then I learned HTML for creating web pages. Then I learned CSS for doing the visual designing on the web pages and the applications. Then I learned React Native and Android programming languages to create the Android mobile application that could be hosted on the Play Store. I like the fact that uh, you've mentioned Java as a beginner's language. Uh, a lot of my contemporary <laughs> friends from computer science and IT backgrounds took a couple of years to learn it. Uh, congratulations on the number of languages uh, that you have been learning as well. Uh, I understand that in India currently there's a big surge of IT services, uh, be it in the companies, be it in uh, young students as well. We have a lot of students who want to learn how to code or have different skills related to the IT sector. What would you suggest uh, these kids or these students to uh, do? How do they start off their journey in the field of uh, information technology? Uh, first of all, it's not compulsory for anyone to do the same thing as other children are doing. So wh whatever you are passionate in, do that thing. And if you are passionate, especially in computer science and information technology, you should definitely... So this is a field that goes on updating every second. 
so every second a new innovation related to the field of technology is coming and you need to keep yourself updated at each and every time um, i understand that you participate a lot in national and international olympiads as well uh, how did that come into be before i even started learning coding uh, olympiads was the thing that i used to do the most so in class uh, second uh, i started giving olympiads in my school i got to know about olympiads from my school and my mother used to prepare me for the olympiad examinations and it was in third class when i got my first medal for the uh, science olympiad and that actually gave me the motivation to give more olympiad examinations then i started giving mathematics olympiad cyber olympiad uh what do you think about online coaching as a whole do you use that for your school learning and olympiad learning as well yes they are good uh, if you would like to learn from online videos it's a really good thing but at the same time in um, academics you also need to focus on the books as well so it's both the things if you balance both of the thing you do very great i would say to do awesome in examinations tell me arman jo what do you do for fun what co- uh, extra curricular activities or how do you relax i mostly watch football uh, i like to watch formula 1 racing uh, then i also like to do painting do art and listen to music these are the things that i like to do in my past time uh Thank you Harman Jo uh, for joining Thank us on so this webinar. Thank you so much. Same here. I congratulate here. you for all the things uh, you have done at uh, such a young age. You've been a brilliant role model to other students out there uh, who want to learn continuously and develop things. So thank you again for being with us and congratulations on being a Byju's young genius.